let's take a look at the Nordberg Skagerrak. It's in the box and let's open up the box with the trusty Japanese cooking knife that we have here. We're gonna be gentle. <coughs> this is a really light box so I actually think they didn't send me um, the box and papers. I actually think they only sent me the watch for review and not for review. You know I you know I don't do reviews on watches that are not my own. They sent me the box. I think they only sent me the watch for the video. So let's see if that is true or not. I'm gonna put away the knife. Yeah, it's true. It's only the watch in here. I can feel it wrapped up in some bubble plastics. And there we have it. The Skagerrak Night Edition. Let's just put the plastics away and focus on the watch. By the way, today I'm wearing my Tudor Black Bay GMT. Here it is. Nordberg, Nordberg watches Skagerrak and as you can see here uh, let's just give it some juice it's not a screw down crown so we can actually give it some juice without uh, pulling it out of position uh, and there it goes you can see the little yellow second hand with that white tip starting to run we have a lot of plastic here so I uh, figure we're gonna take off the plastic. Nordberg watches actually have a quite of a good web page. It's nordbergwatches.com, and if you head in there, you can see everything about the new watch. It's uh, they're launching the Nordberg Skagerrak on Kickstarter, July the fifteenth. About the company, we are Nordberg watches, uh, and uh, there we have it, the Nordberg Skagerrak. Why Nordberg Skagerrak? day and night edition we have some specifications about the watch and uh, a really great thing with norbert watches it's is that they actually contribute to uh, something with all of their models they did it with the kattegat and this time as you can see here contribution to the swedish society for nature conservation's work to for sea and fishing by donating 100 swedish crowns that's about 12 dollars for every sold norberg watch and they're actually limited to 125 pieces per model uh, and they feature this is quite interesting open case bag for educational purposes so it's a nice spin on the open case bag for education the previous model norberg kattegat and we have my video right there thank you norberg watches and here it is once again I'm sorry that I had to cut the video short because it was just too damn hot. I'm filming this midday and the sun is just blaring down on me and uh, it was just too hot. My camera couldn't really handle the heat. But uh, here we are under an umbrella and here we have the Nordberg Skagerrak uh, Night Edition. As you can see, it's ticking away there. As you can see, it's a pretty clean dial. We have Nordberg Skagerrak up beneath the 12 o'clock. I'm just gonna pull out the crown here and take away the minute hand so we can see it all. There it is. I'll zoom in a little on the dial. Nordberg Skagerrak right there. Automatic water resistance, 10 ATM, 100 meters, just above the six o'clock. And below the six o'clock, we have NH35N. Date at three with a beautiful little frame there uh, clean dial nothing special nothing that actually catches your attention except for that yellow second hand and the yellow writing on Skagerrak just a little dash of color and uh, on an otherwise elegant watch and this is what they try to do with the Skagerrak actually and that's exactly what you're getting here a little more sophisticated a little smaller and uh, a little more clean than the Kattegat a little dressier uh, clean dial black and yellow combined with the white hour and minute markings we have a polished bezel and it's all the rest of it is brushed when you look at it up front we have some polished sides with some nice tapering on the lugs uh, the bracelet is brushed on the front here we have polished sides actually we have uh, push pins 
which you know I'm not really quite fond of, but it is what it is. Some people actually like push pins more than screws because they actually will never unscrew on you. They're, they sit where they sit, but I don't like them because I really think it's a hassle taking them out and putting them back in. It's a really delicate bracelet, it's really thin, and uh, I think that's because of what they wanted to do with the watch. They wanted to do a watch with a smaller footprint and they succeeded with that. And then we have the clasp. It's a threefold clasp, uh, Nordberg written right there. We have some plastic on. I'm not gonna take it out because it's not gonna, it's not gonna show you anything that you wouldn't see if I didn't take it off. Um, we push these pushers on the side and the clasp opens up. It's actually a pressed metal clasp, which is a little disappointing. Um, I really think that they should have done a, a solid uh, metal clasp here, but maybe it was in line with the, the with the with the goal of the watch, making it thinner, lighter, smaller. But I don't know if I'm if I like the pressed clasped uh, uh, solution here. Anyway, it is what it is. The open case back for educational purpose we have there. We have Nordberg uh, NH35 printed on the rotor. We have Skagerak Seiko NH35 movement, 100 meters water resistant, limited edition, actually number one of 125. The Seiko NH35 in itself isn't particularly beautiful to look at, but it's a workhorse, as I understand. It will suit you for many years, and uh, yeah. If, if if it was up to me, maybe I would have closed up the, the case back and gave it a little more uh, water resistance. Because, as I said, the Seiko Inish 35, it's not a movement you have to look at because of its beauty. It's more of a workhorse. But still, there's something special with open case back watches. And uh, there's something special with seeing it beat away, uh, seeing it being alive in there. Yeah, there's something to it actually so i'm not gonna say that it's, it's uh, uh that i don't understand the this the decision there i'm just gonna say that I, personally i might have decided otherwise okay let's take it out and actually let's put it on the wrist and see how it wears tudor black bay gmt today for this video um having haven't been giving it a lot of love lately but today it got some love and I'm gonna put it right there. I'm a little sweaty on my hand actually because it's really hot today. I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna see my 20 centimeter wrist here and they give you uh, actually a quite substantial bracelet. You could, I could easily remove at least two of those links and it would fit me, maybe three, I don't know. And uh, yeah. So it's a it's a it's a nice bracelet and it, they give you a lot of uh, options to remove some links. This is what it looks like on my 20 centimeter wrist. It's a smaller watch with a smaller footprint as you can see, but I still think that I can pull it off because yeah, smaller watches is the shit right now and uh, this is looking really good actually. I like the that it's a clean watch. It's subdued. It's not. It's not gonna catch your eye, but you can. It's really legible. You can see the time from far away, from every angle, and uh, yeah, I think it actually looks quite good on me. I think that maybe the white version would have looked even better on me, in contrast with all the colors on my arm. But let's uh, put it on my other arm just to see what it would look like on an arm without any colors at all with just some regular hair manly manly hair this is it on an arm without any tattoos this is what it looks like this is what it would look like on you if you don't have any tattoos the bracelet since it doesn't have an actual clasp it's elegant it feels light it feels comfortable to wear even though i haven't sized it for me but uh, yeah, that's the Nordberg Skagerak. And now let's talk about some specifications. <laughs> The movement
moment inside here is a Seiko NH35 with 45 hours of power reserve. A workhorse that is used in many, many, many micro brands. It's cheap, but it's also really reliable and it will hold up for a long time. Uh, the diameter of the case is 39 millimeters. We have a thickness of 11.5 millimeters, which actually makes it a really slim and nice watch to wear on the wrist. The lug width is 18 millimeters and it tapers down to 16 at the integrated clasp there. And the lug to lug distance is 47.5 millimeters. So it's a small watch with a small footprint that will actually not even be noticed on your wrist because it's really comfortable to wear. Uh, the water resistance is 100 meters. Uh, and it's limited to 125 pieces per model. So 125 for the black one, the night, and 125 for the white one, the day. The price for this baby is it's on Kickstarter. It's going to be launched on Kickstarter the July the 15th. And the early bird price will be 3 thousand Swedish crowns that's approximately 300 euros I really don't know the conversion rate uh, or how it stands right now but it should be uh, 300 euros a little less or maybe a little more oh and actually I forgot to say it has a sapphire crystal And that's actually everything I had to say about the Nordberg Skagerrak. Uh, I'm really glad that Nordberg Watches chose to send me this watch for a video. Um, I can't tell you anything. I can't say anything positive or negative about the watch because I actually haven't worn it for a while. And it, even if I initially would like to say, you know, uh, initially my thoughts are that a pressed metal uh, clasp is actually a negative thing. I, I don't want to say that because I really don't know if the purpose was uh, keeping the weight down then maybe it's a positive thing maybe there aren't any negative things with a pressed metal clasp or maybe it's just made to cut some corners and and uh, keep the price down and that's also maybe a, a negative or a positive depending on the customer and how you see it uh, but sure for my personal preference I would like to have a solid steel clasp uh, here and uh, maybe just maybe a closed case back because the NH35 isn't really a stunning movement to look on to look at but um, besides of that it's a classy little watch and I think they actually uh, succeeded in doing what they wanted to do uh, based on what the customers wanted. They wanted a smaller watch and they have some inspiration and they uh, actually they're uh, good at telling you what inspired their watches, what inspired their uh, choices of color and uh, uh, how they how the process of of uh, coming up with a new model is uh, goes with them, what they're thinking about, what they're looking at and uh, I think if the customer want, if the customers wanted this, a smaller watch, a little more elegant stainless steel model, then actually they got what they wanted. Personally, just a personal opinion here, I don't think that black and yellow is a great color combination. Uh, just my personal opinion. It reminds me of uh, bumblebees and wasps. And I'm not really an insect kind of a guy. So, uh, but I actually think they, they, they did a good job with the watch. Maybe they cut some corners here and there, but uh, the price is 300 euros. So um, I actually don't know if you can expect much more at that price point. Uh, it's a good looking watch. It felt good wearing it. It... Um, I think it's gonna make a lot of people happy. If it's just their f second uh, watch, and Nordberg is actually they're really nice guys, and they're really listening to the community and trying to uh, give the people what they want. So it's worth uh, keeping an eye out for them and see what they're gonna do next. 
Uh, the Cat to Gat was uh, a cool watch as well, and it sold out. I guess this is going to sell out as well because they're not doing it, uh, uh, making a lot of watches. They're just making 125 of each. I guess they're going to sell out, but it's cool that we have some Swedish watch companies, some guys uh, uh, daring to take a risk and uh, put some money in and uh, develop some models that are not straight up homages, homages of other watches. They're actually trying to do something that's their own and uh, you actually have to applaud that that's really cool so that's the Nordberg Skagerak if you want to buy one head out to the Kickstarter this is our uh, uh, reviewers uh, sample so this is going straight back to Nordberg it's not a watch that I'm keeping in any way uh, our collaboration is they send me the watch I do a video of it I get some free content for the channel you get to see it on wrist presented like this outside and uh, I get to send it back they get some free advertisement and that's the deal because without any content this channel wouldn't be possible and uh, I'm not rich so I can't buy everything myself so I'm grateful that they chose to send me this watch uh, and that's it hope you liked the video if you did please consider giving it a thumbs up get the fly out of the out of the way uh, and please consider subscribing maybe sharing the video sharing the channel with your friends if you didn't like it it's it's equally as important to give me a thumbs down write me a comment on what you didn't like and i'm uh, absolutely going to try better in the next video and until the next video i hope you have a great summer bye bye